Parliamentary Secretary and the member for Borkham Hills. Thank you, Mr. Um, Mr. Acting Speaker. Mr. Acting Speaker, yesterday I met with representatives of the Lisa Harnham Foundation from my electorate. As members would recall, Lisa was the young lady who was tragically murdered by her boyfriend when she was thrown off her balcony. It was an appropriate time given the current attention that the parliament has paid to matters relating to domestic violence. Indeed, last week during a notice of motion, I asked the Deputy Leader of the Opposition if there was any Labor candidate that had been on the record for defending domestic violence or justifying domestic violence as an act in the home. She said that she was disappointed in me and that I thought, and she, quote, I thought he would take the matter much more seriously. Well, Mr Acting Speaker, I too am disappointed, as is my community. We are disappointed because Labor should have taken domestic violence more seriously. They should have considered prospective candidates' views on domestic violence before endorsing them as a candidate. It has since come to my attention that the endorsed Labor candidate for Seven Hills, Suicide Benjamin, has made comments Michelle that Harbour. warned women about domestic, reporting Michelle domestic Harbour, violence please, to the police. Order. He said that the reporting domestic violence quote, leads to a total breakdown of family relationships. I can confidently say that this is completely out of touch with the views of the people of Seven Hills, some of whom currently falls within my own electorate. Many constituents have expressed to me about the views of Mr Benjamin. It concerns about the views of Mr Benjamin. It seems pretty clear to me that once a man hits a woman, once the relationship is already violent, once domestic violence is present, that there has already been a breakdown of the family relationship. Reporting domestic violence is the first step in ensuring that a victim's life live a life free from repression. Mr Benjamin's response to these significant community concerns is extremely worrying. He describes it as, quote, a storm in a teacup, and that in reference to victims, quote, sometimes they are told they should not have called them police about an argument and then take it too late to make any altercation, alterations. Quite unquote. As I heard yesterday, women in the hills feel very strongly about this. It is unacceptable to, to pressure a victim of domestic violence into not reporting the crime or to try and manipulate victims so they regret reporting domestic violence. Candidates for public office should not attempt to prevent victims seeking help. I asked the Deputy Leader of the Opposition if there was any Labor can I asked her if there was any Labor candidate that had been on the record for defending domestic violence or justifying domestic violence as an act in the home. She was silent. The opposition was silent. Why didn't the Deputy Leader of the Opposition confirm that no candidate was on the record for de defending domestic violence or justifying it? Was it because you knew it would be misleading in the House to do so? Did you know about Suicide Benjamin's comments? If you didn't, then there clearly is a breakdown in the probity test between Sussex Street and this place. Because the very next day we were reading about Mr Benjamin's repressive views in the national press and on Radio 2GB. And I'm sure that Sussex Street is embarrassed that his views made the international press, as the Daily Mail also reported his comments. It worries me that a person who works for the Toongabby Legal Service, a service that aims to look at the vulnerable, is telling people who are victims not to report it. It's making victims feel ashamed about reporting it. We should be encouraging the reporting of domestic violence because only once it is reported can we be helping those who are vulnerable. Mr Acting Speaker, we don't need apologists of domestic violence in this place. I note Suicide Benjamin's factional ally, Laurie Ferguson, has condemned the comments and good on him. Will Linda Burney, the Shadow Minister for Family Community Services, also condemn these comments? Will John Robertson, the Leader of the Opposition, also no, condemn these comments? I know the citizens of the Hills do not support these comments. And I know that local community leaders... It is an important Harbour, issue. The member for Shell Harbour order. quite rightly says so. Stand up here and, and, and make sure that these comments from your candidate are condemned. I know that all communities in the Hills, all the community leaders in the Hills District oppose these comments. I note that members on the House condemn these comments. I note that Prue Goward, Minister for Women, Gabriel Upton, Minister for Families, Mike Baird, Premier, Gillian Skinner, Minister for Health, all, all would condemn the comments pro pro proposed by Suicide Benjamin. This government is committed to reducing domestic violence in our communities. That's why we've provided $4.6 million to staying home leaving violence, to support women leave their homes. The government also provided $9.8 million in funding. It stops here, which will provide a single contact point, ensuring that victims, victims don't have to search through a maze of different services and have the indignity of having their life be blamed for the life of the breakdown of their family. It is a matter of pride that in my community count, we have half the domestic violence rates of the, other, the rest of the state. 
and Suicide Benjamin needs to know that. Both sides of politics used to work together on reducing domestic violence, but with this candidate, that cannot continue. Thank you. The House is proceeding with private members.